<sighs> when will they learn? Now, I know it's been a long time, but this article that I just found, well, yesterday, came out yesterday, but I just saw it today. This article is talking about the new game Prey. Now, you've probably heard of Prey. It's this first-person action adventure game sort of thing. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, But there's a big issue with it, and basically on Steam, as you know, there's a refund policy where you can get refunds for games, and they're saying, the developer is saying that people are using it as a substitute for having a demo, and that's not really the purpose of it. Even Steam says that's not the purpose of it. And the publisher of this game, I believe it's Bethesda, says, you know, you should not be doing this, so on and so forth, blah blah blah. This is a problem, as, as you could see, because this sort of thing happens when there's no early copies and there's no early reviews of these games coming out. And this is a big deal, because this game, if, here's, here's the problem, right? And I'm just trying to like lay this out, because it's really, I think, an easy problem to fix. If your game is not that good, and you do an early, like, review, not review embargo, what's what's the word? Like, reviews come out a couple days before the game officially comes out, and your game is not good, that's okay. Just say a post saying, we've seen the issues uh, that have affected the game, and we'll be sure to patch them in the first week, two weeks, next, the first day, I don't know. I mean, pa games always, co always come with patches the first day anyway, so why not, like, put those in anyways? You know, um, I don't understand like what the issue is. You know, it really just seems like this is not the first time. Like I noticed, Prey, it's happened now. Back when Mass Effect Andromeda came out, there were no reviews until the day the game the game came out. It's like, you know, it'd be so easy. Like, like I just said, I I really I'm, I'm lost of words here because I don't understand these developers, not developers, excuse me, these publishers, EA, Blizzard here for prey you know why like i said if you believe your game is not that good at launch doesn't matter if you put a review embargo and you don't let reviews come out early you're just basically people are not going to know about the game uh before they buy it and now that's what what's good for them i guess because people will just buy the game they won't really know anything about it and if they only see you know pre-release trailers and pre-release interviews or whatever you know they might buy it and then they're gonna be like pissed off when the game gets released and it's not performing well or or you know it runs badly or you know there's major issues like we saw with like Mass Effect Andromeda and all these could be remedied if the reviewers could get the games early and you know properly review them and let people know hey there are issues and you know these are the issues with the game you know low performance you know it's not optimized well or you know the story has issues or you know there's bugs whatever right and then the publisher or developer whatever can make a post or you know say hey you know we see these issues thank you for pointing them out and by the time the game gets released we'll be having to we'll fix them you know because the game's gonna cut like i said games come out with day one patches anyway so i don't see why they can't just you know fix those or, you know, maybe they are getting fixed and then just say, you know, hey, you know, we see these issues, they will be fixed on the first day. And I believe that's what Mass Effect Andromeda did. They did say, like, some of the issues that people had from the, uh, it was like, what was it? It was the early access Xbox One thing where you could, like, play, like, 10 hours before the game officially came out. Sort of that, like, they, they heard that feedback and they said that when the game comes out, it will be fixed. And that's good, you know? Say, I, I think in my opinion, is that it'll be better to say, hey, you know, the game is, there. We, we hear your issues, we hear the problems that you're having, and we are going to fix them. It'll be, you know, a couple days, first day, whatever, these issues will be fixed. We hear, you know, your problems with PC op optimization, uh, you know, bugs, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Just say, we hear you, and we'll be fixing them. Not just, you know, completely taking out reviewers, you know, where reviewers have no option other than the first day, and then just people have to go into the game blindly, you know? It just doesn't make sense. And the big issue here with uh, 
the Prey PC demo is that there is no PC demo. And the thing is with demos is people like to play demos. I mean, it's been a while since, you know, a good demo has come out for a game. Actually, no, Doom had a demo. Anyway, anyway, that was a good demo, by the way. <laughs> I keep saying demo. For Prey here, it would be better to have a PC demo and uh, basically have PC players the option to see how the uh, game runs on their system. And I believe consoles have a demo. I'm not 100% sure, but give PC players this option. And if when you don't have this option and you don't have reviewers getting the game early to know how the game runs, you just have people basically abusing this Steam system to basically try the game. They're like, wow, this game doesn't run that good. And then review, uh, return it. With no reviews, they don't know anything. And the consumer is left with no knowledge. And like I said, this could be good for the publishers because they get a lot of users. How do I say this? They get a lot of people, a lot of sales really easily because it's just like people buy it off the hype of the trailers and stuff. And then they become disappointed. And I mean, how many will return it compared to just like leaving it or whatever or coming back in a couple months? Who knows? I don't know those numbers, but it'd be interesting to look at. So at the end of this commentary, after, you know, a long time. I want to say one thing. Developers, I keep saying, I keep mixing up developers and publishers. Publishers, release review copies for games. Reviews have no negative on you. Unless it's some, you know, random magazine or rogue website or whatever. They're not going to, you know, completely flame you and say this game is garbage. You can't, they can't do that. They can't, that's like slander or whatever. You know, they can't do that. If there are legitimate issues with your game, have them point it out and then say, you know, we will fix this and it will be fixed for release or, you know, later on. Acknowledge your problems. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, there's something wrong. We'll be sure to fix it. Instead of just, you know, basically looking scummy and sign the game without any review, you know, with a review embargo to release date and you know not review it not letting reviewers review the game early like that's that's their job you know let them let them tell the consumer what is going on with these games and i'm just kind of rambling at this point but you get what i'm saying it's just it's better for the industry as a whole and it's just better for everyone so that's my thoughts on it what are your guys' thoughts it's been a long time like i said but let me know down in the comments do you think review i keep saying do you think publishers should send out review copies and, you know, let reviewers tear into their game if it's not good? And then, or should they, you know, have this sort of system where there is a review embargo and there is a, they, people can't, they, they can't review it early and they have to wait till release date. Let me know down in the comments. What's your opinion on it? I'd love to hear it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video which should be maybe next week, not, you know, six months. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.